Hello friends, this is Arun and welcome to my channel for inspiration. Today I will teach you a very very special technique to retouch your image. And uh, I have told you many times, uh, I usually use this filter than uh, Image Nomic and I always use this portraiture tool. Uh, even some of uh, people, they use this uh, blur, even they use surface blur. And uh, you can see a special pores you can see here on the skin so this type of pores you can get by filter to pass labs then we have this to pass clean here is the in which you will find out a very special tool uh, by applying that tool you can you can convert a simple skin into a pore level skin so uh, that's why this is very very special tool and uh, moreover I will show you the original image this is my original uh, sorry this is my edited image and uh, this is original this is after this is before and this is after so let's see how to get this type of skin retouch using Photoshop CC so firstly open your desired image in Photoshop CC then make a another copy of the same by pressing Ctrl J then we have this filter in filter we have this Topaz Labs in Topaz Labs we have this Topaz Clean now click on there then you have some options like this cartoon crisp style then degrunge here is the degrunge and I love a lot to this uh, whenever you go there then you have this pose uh, in original it is not able to seen so this is the beauty of this degrunge okay now you can set the size of this pose as well as this blemishes so firstly uh, I will adjust the size The amount you can set from the boost and the texture and nothing I want and uh, I will keep this value at this 1.46 now click on ok and this is before and this is after ok now for this uh, choose this port healing brush tool directly and direct apply on this image Where, wherever you find some dots you can recover that these small pores you can say uh, these are not actually pores but you can say uh, it is looking very nice and uh, skin texture is looking very nice and uh, you can correct all the things by playing this portaling brush tool okay that's very nice and uh, this is before and this is after now mm, press alt on the keyboard and uh, hit this mask then you have this black mask and what area you want to reveal you can directly apply a white brush on there so select this brush and uh, make sure you have choose this white now make a bigger size hardness 0 opacity 100 fill flow 100 now apply this brush to the skin like this so it's looking very awesome make it zoom so that uh, you can so see this this is before and this is after now make another layer I will use this airbrush method 
now for this choose your brush and uh, hardness 0 fill I will try about uh, 13 flow also I want uh, about 14 13 it may be same and adjust the size and see how I am applying this brush on this face so see this before after before after now again make a new layer and uh, when you can adjust the opacity so that see before after and again make a new layer and even we can reduce the value now see this before and after So it takes uh, time to do practice of this hair brushing. It requires a lot of practice. So see this before and after. I will show you. This is original, and uh, this is after hair brushing and all that. Now make another copy, and uh, this time I will adjust hardness about uh, 75. It may be and uh, flow, and it may be maybe 20. Now I will apply this on here very gently do this even later on you can adjust the opacity as well as the blurness of this Now this is the effect and I want to reduce the opacity see this and uh, go to filter then blur and then Gaussian blur for this uh, value I want I think uh, 400 is, is looking very nice so see this before and after and ag again make a new layer and uh, this time I will apply in the eyes so that I will even making the fake catch shadow So see in the eyes this is before and after now again go to filter and then blur and then goes in blur I want now this time I will try 1.9 I think now it's looking very nice and again make a new layer and uh, choose a blue shade something like this okay I want to change the uh, color of the eyes now go to color dodge firstly I will check it that's looking awesome and uh, adjust the opacity
and uh, this is before and this is after. I will show you the original image. Okay, now merge all layers by pressing Control Shift Alt E. Now I have very special filter. The hairs are not looking nice. So to do this, uh, go to Topaz Labs again. We have this Topaz Clean. In Clean, now this time I will try this Curly Smooth. Whenever I apply, you can see the effect. A beautiful effect is coming on the edges, uh, sharp edges like here. See here that's looking very nice now click on ok again make a mask on there alt and click on mask you have this black mask choose brush opacity full flow full and I want smooth brush and apply there and look at this looking very awesome So this is before, after. Now for lips I will do the same thing but with the low opacity. control zero before and after again make a new layer then uh, then go to filter then we have this camera raw I will do some changes in camera raw and uh, firstly I want very orange shade for this particular image and uh, I will boost our white points so that I can make find out the glow in the eyes as well as on the face like this that's looking awesome and uh, you can play with the setting of this shadow and uh, I will boost the value to the right side and uh, sharpness I want okay moreover I will reduce the saturation for orange something like this I'll see this before and after and uh, for black try out this black and, uh, clarity little bit of saturation vibrance I want and last I will try vignetting little bit of vignetting I want now hit ok I'll see this before and after very looking awesome again make a new layer I want white brush there hit once on there control Z control sorry now control T uh, this is my light source something like coming from the left sorry right Now see this before and after. Now last but not the least and uh, under this light source layer I will go to levels In level I will choose this blue. We want something like this. Now see this original image and the retouch image so in this way you can retouch your image and this is very very special method and uh, you can use topaz labs in which you can use degrange clean filter that is awesome so thank you friends keep watching Hans creation